Dine. Hopefully getting into Mauritania today. And until now I just thought this trip is two-dimensional, you know, delivering car to Sierra Leone and raise awareness about modern day slavery. But actually there's a third dimension to it. And you will explain me. I thought it would be um, add a bit of interest to the trip to do a scientific experiment as we uh, travel in from Europe south down into Africa. And uh, we're keeping a, a record of our toilet habits as we get further south and in order to record it scientifically we're using the Bristol stool chart which is seven categories of poo from type 1 separate hard lumps like nuts hard to pass all the way down to type 7 which is watery no solid pieces entirely liquid and here's our, our record at the moment in our book here and you can see that, that Andy driving he's he's streaked ahead of, of the pack <laughs> Uh, and, and Becky is, is lagging behind really, lagging behind in the log log. Um, our hypothesis is that as we get further south geographically we'll get further south on the Bristol stool chart uh, and I'm pleased to say that um, even though we're, it's early days we, the hypothesis seems to be holding up. Um, we seem to be moving from generally twos and threes to at the minute fours, maybe fives, um, which, so it's looking good. Uh, I hope to get published our results on toilet paper. Basically, we just talk crap all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names, but there is someone in the party that's actually already peaked at seven uh, already in the trip, which is a bit unfortunate. There's nowhere else to go after a seven. And that's it. That's, <laughs> she's, she's at the top of her game. But that's it. Well, that now is it, Dad. You've just confessed it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Things can only get better. If you, once you or get carry on seven, terrible. Once you get to seven, they can only get better. <laughs> What about uh, the, the to toilet paper, no toilet paper statistics? I got caught out once with no toilet paper. I had to use my handkerchief, which is, uh, I'm glad I had it, because there was absolutely nothing there. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm one hanky down, but we've learnt our lesson. We've now got rolls of toilet paper out of the boot. Um, it's just here. Uh, emergency toilet roll. Beck has also developed a new technique for using the squat toilet. It works. We've been, it works. We've been experimenting with the easiest way to not basically crap all over your trousers, <laughs> which is a lot harder than you think if you've ever tried one of these toilets. And my technique is have them roll to your knees and then hold them tight and use your other hand to lean against the wall. But Beck has developed the leg out the trouser technique, <laughs> oh, which yeah. is a very special development which causes for uh, much stability as you take one trouser leg off, leaving the other one on, and hold it up at the top. But of course, it's a very slippery floor and you've got to get your trousers past your sandals. So um, it's only a technique really be, to be tried by masters like Becca there. So, uh, How long did it take you to discover the, the one leg out technique? Last night was my first. <laughs> <laughs> we learn it, aren't we? You see, that's what I, was, I was a squat virgin. <laughs> <laughs> the trip's all about learning.